So with the last Iron Banner being done with, we have to look back and see if they were any good. I think these Iron Banners were pretty good for the most part. I like that Bungie tried something new with the iron, with the armor instead of just completing the bounties that Saladin gives you. I do think some of the quest steps were annoying, like the grenade one and using weapons in Crucible that are complete garbage. But those can be tweaked to make them less annoying, which they are doing in future Iron Banners as well. Like the grenade kills not only being reduced by 50%, but ally grenade kills will be worth as much as yours. As yours. And it's also basically doing the same thing for the swords so overall these iron banners have been a lot of fun for me and most of my clanmates but let's talk about the elephant in the room lord of wolves yes lord of wolves was mad fucking gross this season but it's not new having a weapon that dominates in crucible like it's not the first time this has happened i think what made this weapon special was that it could dick guardians down from like 20 meters and could kill you out of your super i do have a lord of wolves is broken video that i will post later but i will say this it was so much fun this season because we were all running around with this broken ass shotgun that could just kill everything and he even helped me get the iron legend medal in iron banner i'm just mad that i didn't record it so let's talk about the nerf Lord of Wolves is getting a reduced amount of ammo that the Shotgun Scavenger perks gives when in release the wolf state and is getting a decrease in its effective range. This decrease in range is more aggressive in release the wolf state. So with this change release the wolves will be affected way more so Lord of Wolves could map you from like 20 meters like right now unchanged. So what we could be looking at is in its normal state it could be like what 10 meters and in release the wolves five meters i don't know if this is going to be a good change or not but we'll just have to wait in, until we see and play with it with the new changes the one that i'm kind of not worried about is the ammo decrease since with two shotgun scavenger perks you get 30 shots which is three release the wolves shots with these new changes i could see them taking it down to like 15 shots which isn't bad when you consider that you'll get you'll still get 30 shots if you hop out of release the wolves I think these changes will still make the gun viable and will take, still take down supers, but it'll be a lot harder. My only issue is that with the range decrease, like it, I can see it being really bad. It could probably outright kill the gun. So for those of us that have survived Iron Banner from all those wolves, we will receive a triumph and an emblem, which does look pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. But that's not all. If you were there for Prometheus Lens, then you'll be getting an awesome emblem as well. I love that Bungie's doing this, making something positive out of a whole situation that was fucked up is smart and just helps, especially when these emblems look so badass. My only issue is that I'll only get Prometheus Lens on my PS4 and the Lord of Wolves on my PC, PC account. It would be awesome if they made this a Bungie account based, not console based, but I highly doubt it considering it's just not something they would do. This topic is something I do plan on making a video later for because I just I just want them to merge accounts. Like I have I don't have the, a lot of stuff on my PS4 account because though after the two DLCs it kind of it kind of sucked ass. So kind of killed my vibe but i would still love to have like all the weapons that i got from the nine trials of the nine i had like i had a bunch of weapons for that i love the shotgun that i got for that the assault rifle was dope i wish i could get the the eververse armor from chris of osiris because i had almost everything except the helmet like there's just like little things here and there not only that but i just want my character to be the character that i used in destiny one because like I still get audio like what are the hive it's like dog I was there when the hive like when they were introduced like I know what the fuck they are my character does it it pisses me off it's small don't get me wrong it's really small but it just still pisses me off but I'm getting sidetracked let's get back to uh, this video so for my final thoughts Lord of Wolves was a lot of fun especially when I was going in Iron Banner with a regular loadout like mountaintop recluse and tracker cannon to just see someone not only using Lord of Wolves but his other clanmates as well that was enough for me to not only switch to lord of wolves 
but to then just outright destroy his whole team multiple times to then earn the Iron Legend medal was the pinnacle of this season for me. So, so I knew. I knew this weapon was going to get nerfed the moment I got my first kill because I mapped like a super from like 20 meters and I was like, that's it. Yeah, this gun's going to get nerfed. If I can do that with this gun, it's going to get nerfed. But I made it a point to enjoy it as much as I could, and I did. I I got I did it. I, I enjoyed all my time with it. I got a lot of crazy ass shit, like a lot of crazy ass shit with this gun. Like I will have some moments that I had with Lord of Wolves that was just too gross not to share with you guys, but it just sucks because like with these changes coming up, I think I'm not gonna use this gun anymore. I love I loved Lord of Wolves, it was fun using it, but with these changes I don't think I'm going to use it anymore. Maybe just to check it out, just to see how it is. But overall, I'm not going to be using it, probably. But what do you guys think about the Lord of Wolves? Was it really gross? Like, are you going to miss this gun? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on my social media outlets. Links are in the description below. And I will see you guys later.